Hi friends, it's great to be here with you at IS Kids Online. I'm having so much fun with all of you this month. We have been finding out how God can help us live with patience. Patience is waiting until later for what you want now. You know, what is one thing I'm still struggling to wait for? It's food. Look at me. I'm starving. And after this, I'm ready to cook lots of food. But I have to cook with patience. My friends, we need patience every day of our lives. We need patience when we are waiting to get picked up after school or practice. We need patience when we are stuck in traffic. We need patience when we are at a cookout and we are waiting for our food to cook. We need patience when we are sick and we just want to feel better. The thing is, we are not on our own when we have to wait. We know that God is with us and that God can help us have patience. Even when things happen that we don't understand, we can have patience and trust that God is still good and God is still in control. The Apostle Paul wrote that patience is something that God's Holy Spirit can create in us. We'll learn more about patience later. Now, are you ready to worship the Lord? Let's stand up and sing together. Your plans, your dreams are so much greater Your timing, you keep, it's always better So when I'm feeling weak, your strength is always perfect So I'm holding on, cause I know it will be worth it So I'm Your strength is always perfect So I'm holding on Cause I know it will be worth it So I'm waiting, I'm waiting I'm gonna keep on waiting With my whole side and you got I'm gonna trust in you And while I'm waiting I believe that you are never me Hello everyone! Today, we are looking at a great example of patience that we can find in the book of Luke. Luke is one of the four Gospels that tell the story of Jesus. So there was a person who was waiting for the Savior to come. 
He was a man named Simeon. Simeon lived in Jerusalem, and we read this about him in the book of Luke. He was a good and godly man. He was waiting for God's promise to Israel to come true. We also know from the Bible that God's Holy Spirit was with Simeon. Get this. God's Spirit told Simeon that he would get to see the promised Savior before he died. What amazing news! We don't really know how old Simeon was when God's Spirit said this to him. We don't know how long he had to wait for this amazing promise to come true. But we could imagine it might have taken a while. Maybe Simeon got older and older and even older still. We can guess that Simeon waited patiently and joyfully because he trusted in this incredible promise from God. Finally, one day, God's Spirit prompted Simeon to go to the temple courtyard. While Simeon was there at the temple, he saw a couple carrying their baby son. Among them are Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. At this point, Jesus was only eight days old. Mary and Joseph brought him to the temple so they could dedicate him to God. Lord, you are the king over all. Now let me, your servant, go in peace. That is what you promised. My eyes have seen your salvation. You have prepared it in the sight of all nations. It is a light to be given to the Gentiles. It will be the glory of your people, Israel. This was Simeon's way of declaring that Jesus is God's Messiah. Simeon believed that Jesus had come to rescue not only Jewish people, but everyone, everywhere. Simeon blessed Mary and Joseph, and he told Mary again that Jesus had been sent by God. Jesus grew up, and he went on to heal people who were sick and teach people about God. Some people weren't so sure about Jesus and they chose not to follow him. But to many others, it became clear that Jesus is really the Son of God and that he really is the Savior God had promised. In the end, Jesus would give up his life for us on the cross. But even then, God's plan wasn't finished because Jesus was raised back to life. Simeon didn't know how the story would unfold, but he knew that every minute he had waited for God's rescuer had been worth the wait. Here's what we need to remember. God is with you while you wait. Simeon put his trust in God even while he waited. And that's something we can do too. When we are waiting for something, we are never really alone. God is right there with us, always. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for your goodness and your faithfulness. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross and to be the greatest example of patience. Thank you, Lord, that through Jesus, we could learn how to patiently wait and not just wait, but to wait joyfully. Father, we thank you for everything and we love you with all of our hearts. All of these things we ask and pray in your name. Amen. It's pop quiz time. I'll ask you some questions and you can shout out loud the correct answer based on the Bible story you just heard. Are you ready? Question number one, who was the person waiting for the Savior to come? Was his name Cinnamon? Was his name Simon? Or was his name Simeon? Yup, Simeon was the name of the man waiting for the Savior to come. Question number two, who was the couple carrying baby Jesus into the temple? Were they Marina and Jojo? Were they Maria and Joseph? Or were they Merlina and Joey? You got it. Maria and Joseph carried baby Jesus into the temple. Last question. Who is with you while you wait? 
God, an angel, or a priest? That's right. God is with you while you wait. You all did it. Thanks for playing pop quiz with me. Hey, IAS kids, it's great to be here again. Let's read the memory verse of this month together. Wait for the Lord, be strong and don't lose hope. Wait for the Lord. Psalm 27, 14. Great, let's read it together one more time. Wait for the Lord, be strong and don't lose hope. Wait for the Lord. Psalm 27, 14. Our verse reminds us that God is with you while you wait. You can be strong and hopeful even when you're waiting. How can you remember God is with you while you're waiting? You can pray and ask God for help. You can look around to help and encourage others. You can focus on having a good attitude and not grumbling. And you can think about verses like this one. Just remember that God is with you while you wait. See you next time. Simeon was waiting for many years to see Jesus the Messiah. And he finally met him when Jesus was still a baby. So today, let's draw Swaddle Baby Jesus. But before we start, we need to prepare these things. A piece of paper, a black crayon or marker, and some coloring tools. I give you time to get them now. Did you get everything you need? Great! Later when you feel the video is too fast for you, do not worry, just pause, do your drawing, and press play again to continue the tutorial. Come, let's get started. I can't wait to be a little older. I want to be a race car driver. I can't wait to be a little stronger. I want to be a firefighter So many things that I can grow up to be But right now I, I don't want to miss Don't want to miss what's awaiting here for me Looking all around me I got everything I need I'm not gonna rush cause I'm right where I'm supposed to be I'm living in the moment my hopes and all my dreams oh, oh. I'm not gonna rush Cause I'm right where I'm supposed to be I can't wait to be a little bigger I wanna be an actor on the big screen I can't wait to be a little taller I wanna be the captain of the team So many things that I can grow up to be But right now I, I don't wanna miss Don't wanna What's awaiting here for me? Looking all around me I got everything I need I'm not gonna rush Cause I'm right where I'm supposed to be I'm living in the moment With my hopes and all my dreams I'm not gonna rush Cause I'm right where I'm supposed to be Oh, so don't wait Life isn't a race, it's a journey to trust Don't waste the days, don't hurry them up Life isn't a race, it's a journey to trust Oh, 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 oh looking all around me I got everything I need I'm not gonna rush cause I'm right where I'm supposed to be Looking all around me 
Hi! In our Bible story today, many people were waiting for God to send the Messiah, the promised rescuer of God's people. After God promised Simeon he would one day see that Messiah, Simeon waited many, many years to meet Jesus. Good things and bad things happened while Simeon was waiting. There were times he probably felt scared, sad or lonely he had good times too but there's one thing that never changed while Simeon was waiting God was with him and when the time was right God sent Jesus to be our savior and in the temple that special day Simeon was able to hold Jesus in his arms just as God's spirit had promised from Simeon's story, we can see that God is with you while you wait. Through good things and bad things, God will never leave you. Even if you were in the longest line in the world and had to wait hours and days and weeks, God will still be with you. When you are waiting and feel lonely or upset, you can pray and talk to God. You can ask God for help in the waiting, for patience and for people to help you wait well. Always remember that God is with you while you wait. God bless you all. Your plans, your dreams are so much greater Your timing, you keep, it's always better So when I'm feeling weak, your strength is always perfect So I'm holding on, cause I know it will be worth it So I'm waiting